Thank you, Mr. Speaker. And uh, I am proud to be in this House as the first openly LGBT person representing Carshalton and Wallington. Uh, and I do stand with my local trans community in saying that their rights are human rights. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. These reforms are a welcome first step, um, particularly around health, um, but it does need to go further. So what assurances can my right honourable friend give to me that this is indeed the first step, that this is not the end of what we're going to be doing for trans people in this country, bring the UK into line with countries like Argentina and Ireland, and to make those changes that cost so little but mean so much to the lives of trans people? Yeah, yeah. Well, thank you very much. I, I would point out to my honourable friend, on this issue, we are in line with the vast majority of major European countries, and we are working through our international LGBT conference to improve the rights of LGBT people across the world. And I'm very proud of the leadership we've shown as a country in areas like equal marriage and other issues of LGBT rights. It's important to note, though, that whilst we do want to improve healthcare services, and I'm committed to working with the Department of Health on this, we don't believe in moving to a model of self-ID. We do believe that the system does need proper checks and balances.